Right, 250 at Leicester. Laying horses in play. Um, first thing you want to do is get your live pictures. So, into the ladder. Five or bat. Just lay something. Um, watch for getting mats and then back it on the other side for a scalp. Software's running slow because of the recording software. Cancel that one out. Try and get in somewhere else. All the money's in here, as you can see, the pink. It's all the latest money landing in the market. Try one here. There, it's masked. And there we go. Got both sides in. So that's our um that's our scalp done. That gets us our live pictures here. So I'll um pause it and come back when the race is starting and hopefully we'll see an opportunity for laying something in play. Now the way that software's run so slow, I'll not be laying anything. I have my target hit for today, so I'll not need to. It's more for to explain what I'm looking for during the race. So I'll pause this and come back again once the race is about to start. Right, okay. Just over 30 seconds to the race goes. So, get our pictures lit up. As you can see, the fiver on, the fiver off again. Lay it for fiver, back for a fiver. And that gets you a free live feed. Which usually is okay. Especially if it's on Racing UK, you can check the time against your time here. Um, I'll give you an idea how many seconds is behind. Should only be about one and a half seconds behind. Um, and the eight rather, Edward Elgar, seven to one from ten to one. So that's just ready. On the field, this is a very open looking handicap. Today. I don't need my manual bet. Come out on to the screen. You can see I'm set up for fifteen pound lays and odds of eleven. Uh, and just because I started on the hundred quid, I started a ten to one with my lays, and I haven't kept. I was going to change it, but I changed mistakes instead. So liability is one fifty if it gets matched at eleven. But we'll see. Right, so two and a half mile. There's quite a few here within our price range. These some of these will come into it, and some of them will drop out as the race goes through. So. Leading them towards the tape. And have 15 fences to jump. 15 strong field. Almost at the tape now. And uh, there are. The Host Thorns Handicap Chase for the first uh, fence, two and a half miles the trip. Edward Elgar, Mr. Jim Ertavon, and one of the Greys, Grey Messenger, Blue Jacket, up in the front rank with Manila for me just in behind as they get over the first. So just use your first circuit here, one of these long races. Use your first circuit to get familiar with the horses and their numbers and colours and stuff. There's Edward Elgar up the top. Phase of glory. The mauve sleeves, Harry Bannister, and then a hole in the wall bar, the black with green spots. So white on the track is done complaining. That's Royal Blue with black sleeves. Easy on DI, the green and yellow hoop cap next with Zika Zaka on your bike and Kavanagh's Corner and Connor Schumark at the back. They're into the home straight, they've jumped one. And by the end of the home straight, they'd have jumped five. It's Edward Elgar, Ertavon in the red headgear, and Mr. Jim and James. You see, Nixon, most of these are now in with our, within our price sense. range, but uh, we're too early. Over. Duncan complaining made a mistake and was chased along on the run away from it. They've got an open ditch to clear now. And Mr. Jim is going to rise first, and he rose beautifully. We've all managed to. to Pictures have been installed because of the recording software, but hopefully you can still explain it. Quite early on. If it'll run for a while. Towards the next, Mr. Jim, Ray Messenger, far side, Edward Elgar, Ursavon, and uh, Manella for me, and Adrian Heskin, the beige and dark green quarter jacket, lobbing along, tracking Mr. Jim company with Fields of Glory and Kazma and another grey Caprice Donglay, that's the black and red jacket following Grey Messenger as they head to what will be the last next time. 
Edward Elgar took that uh, in front. Zikazaka still towards the back with uh, On Your Bike. Zafar Aramis continues in midfield with a hole in the wall bar. Then Duncan Plaining, easy on DI, has got Cavanagh's corner on your bike and Zikazaka behind as they come to the winning post with a full circuit to go and a further 10 fences to jump. The lead is with uh, Mr. Jim to the returning Grey Messenger off the track for more than 13 months, almost matching strides now. Ertebal and uh, Lee Edwards following. White jacket, purple sleeves, and then the early leader, Edward Elgar, Manella for me, and then Fields of Glory, racing in sixth. Seven, Zafire Aramis, Caprice Donclay, eight, hole in the wall bar, nine, done complaining, ten. Then easy on DI, Kazma has drifted back, has only got three behind now as they get over the first one in the back. And those three continue to be Cavernous Corner on your bike and uh, Zigga Zaga. An open ditch coming up to them next. Fence number seven. Ray Messenger, Mr. Jim, Edward Elgar between them. He just put in a short stride there, Edward Elgar. And just lost a, a little bit of ground on Ertebon, Caprice Donglay and Jonathan Burke the inside. Are still catching the eye is Manila for me on the outer as they come towards the third fence in the back straight this is still followed by hole in the wall bar getting over that and pecking on landing was edward elgar at that he just continues to lose a bit more ground the big white face of fields of glory is still just better than mid division caprice d'anglais on that one's in it easy on di trying to creep a little bit closer as mr jim still led over that and manila for me is going well on the outside here and i'm watching this one the green behind it which is a safe for armus he's in there so just keep an eye on him and he starts to struggle still going well progress again with easy on di holding the wall bar done complaining still phase of glory in the middle here with a white face but has gone past edward elgar cavernous corner still towards the rear with on your so looking for one of them they've got four left to jump and now this long run back towards home with the gray messenger and james banks leading ertevon and lee edwards both of these two at uh, very big prices with Manella for me stalking them in third Mr. Jim is just struggling to hold his spot now on the outside of Manella for me Zafar Aramis wider champion jockey's got fields of glory in about fifth on the inner and then Kazma Caprice Donglay holding the wall bar easy on the eye at Kavanagh's corner picked off a couple done complaining as they run down towards the fourth last Ertevar and Grey Messenger Manella for me on the outside Mr. Jim Caprice Donglay to be traveling pretty well. Great feeds of glory, I'd be on it now. now Start to struggle in the middle here. Aramis tanks into a share of second with Manila for me over the last ditch. A blunder from Ertevon when backpedaling. See if crisis went. Two left to take. Zafar Aramis with Manila for me and now Caprice Donglay delivered. Far side, Grey Messenger's beaten. Zafar Aramis led there. A Grey Messenger, a shocking blunder. Unseats James Banks. Kazma is next with Mr. Jim. See if feeds of glory was the opportunity. The back, the blue and yellow, but it's He's Tom's gone. Look. Only in the bank. Running to the last from Caprice Donglay and then Manella for me. The final fence. Zigga Zaga continues to pick them off from the rear. Jumped up into fourth place. Caprice Donglay, Zafar Aramis, Manella for me in third. Cavanagh's corner four. Zafar Aramis in front. Half a furlong to go. Caprice Donglay second. Manella for me in third place. Still it's Zafar Aramis. Zafar Aramis wins it. Fins of glory was the opportunity. Just seen it stopped. After that jump, and that's basically what I'm doing. Hope it helps. The pictures aren't good. To be honest, the software just kills it.